yesterday you have seen how durga used to protect all the seekers sadakas and how she killed <coughs> the people who have been troubling torturing killing the seekers of truth her whole advent was to protect them from all these evil forces in those days that was the most <coughs> important work so that's how the sadakas came up to these modern times and now they are seekers of truth or they have found the truth all these different passage <coughs> has taught the sadakas what is the use of their life they were frantically first trying to find the truth frantically and they went into different difficult places they thought by going into <coughs> some lonely places they'll be able to settle their mind in peace and they'll be able to find the truth also they <coughs> sacrificed many things their wealth which was bothering them their families they thought was standing in the way of their research all this went on <coughs> and there are still some people who believe that by becoming an ascetic one can find the truth buddha did the same mahavira did the same their life was nothing but a great tapasya their tapasyas are helping us today in such a way that <coughs> we now have got such a blessing that our personalities as they are <coughs> can receive self realization for which people <coughs> struggled and struggle in such a way that if you read that how they were suffering you might be really amazed how they went through all this suffering and all this tapasya <coughs> just with the goal to get their self realization it is an ordeal even to read about them and to know about them and while they were seeking also there were so many people who tried to trouble them who tried to torture them who tried to kill and <coughs> the people surrounding them didn't know what they were doing they used to ridicule them laugh at them make fun of them. with all this what we learn that we have got our self realization very easily without any torture without any ordeal without any <coughs> sufferings fasting nothing it's not true because you are the same people who have done all this before and that's why you are here it's your matter of right to have your self realization it's no way is to say that without anything we got it because it is life after life you have been seekers whatever path you followed whatever religion you followed 
whatever faiths you followed, it was a torture for you. And this torture is today now fruitful, that <coughs> today you are self-realized people. But in a, any way we see that human beings, if they get something rather easily, they don't understand the value of how they got it. Now to get this easily, actually you must know is not just because you were uh, nothing, you were something great, you were great saints, went into Himalayas, you did all kinds of ordeals and fasting and where so many of you were killed and butchered in the name of God. <coughs> so today, whatever you have got, whatever realization you have got, is not just something you should think that it's only Mother's grace that we have got. It's your own great personality which has achieved it. Otherwise it would have been impossible for me to give you realization. Whatever the work the deities have done, they have brought you to this level of human existence protecting you. But now, naturally, just this is the last step which you have crossed and you have achieved <coughs> this Self-realization and so many of you have achieved great heights. This power within us, the Kundalini, which has connected you to this all-pervading power, has been struggling, <coughs> has been guiding you, has been all the time looking after you, protecting you, so that you should achieve your goal in this Kali Yuga. It was said that only during Kali Yuga this will happen and those people who are seeking God in the mountains and in the valleys will find it. But there will be normal people, people who will have household and living like normal people in the society. They won't be some sort of sadhus or saints, but people who are married, who have children, all such people who are leading a very normal life will receive their realization. It's already said, it's already predicted by Brugumuni. So it's all being already set, I think, all being planned. But in this, a credit goes, of course, to you people that you have recognized what is the truth. As you know, there are so many false people going about. They are doing all kinds of tricks, they are trying all kinds of uh, methods to entice people. Despite that, you have recognized. This recognition is something very remarkable and I am myself surprised how like lost children finding their mother, come back to her in the same way all of you are here. <coughs> but in this, we should not think that we have got it easily or we have got it without any difficulties because this can create a little problem that we will not go further with the same speed, with the same dedication as we have been doing before. So whatever you think is easy was not easy at all. It is sahaja, it is what can say spontaneous, but now it is for you to time, it's really to understand that this time is so important, we have to save the whole world, that you have to project yourself, as I said last time, and to find out ways and methods how you can do these things. 